to Logan. Tough place to play, Carter. The crowd goes in. The altitude makes a difference. It's going to be a big-time night for both teams, but I think uh, Utah State has an advantage with the crowd and the altitude. But Daniel State is the king of the Mountain West. Let's so see what happens. One of college basketball's toughest environments. The Glenn D. Smith Spectrum in Logan, Utah, with the herd behind him. Ashworth, the penetrating point guard. Oh, Mensa wow. gets a huge block to get it started underneath the rim. Nathan Mensa coming off a monster game against Boise State. Yeah, tremendous, 17 points he had now. When he plays well like that, God, it takes San Diego State to another level. Shulga off the bounce. Five to shoot here, four to shoot. Shulga's going to have to heave a deep three. Tremendous defense by San Diego State in the first possession. Butler takes it back from Mensa. Essex want to play a medium possession. Try a game in the 60s. Utah State wants a game in the 80s. Tremel short. The shooting woes continue for Darion Tremel. Last time they played, Ashworth, the leading scorer for Utah State, only had eight points. But he's coming off a game in which he had eight threes at Colorado State. We've got a timing issue. That's something wrong with the shot clock. There was more than more than four seconds should have come off the shot clock on this trip. Our officiating crew, John Higgins, Mike Reed, and Nate Harris. Terrific crew. Need a great crew for this game, Carter. A lot of emotion, a lot of intensity. Big time game. The first place in the Mountain West. Well, especially big for Utah State, who was 0-3 versus the Quad 1 opponents this year. So this is an opportunity for a Quad 1 win for Utah State, who figures right now to be an NCAA at-large bubble team. When you get San Diego State on your home floor, and when you won the last three on your home floor against San Diego State, this is a big-time opportunity game for Ryan Odom looking towards those March possibilities. Exactly. They got a terrific team, but they got to come through tonight against San Diego State. And uh, once again, a tremendous offensive team. Five guys in double figures. An outstanding team for the Aggies. And uh, Ryan Odom's done a fabulous job in his second season here. 14 is what the shot clock shows. Neither the game clock nor the shot clock ran properly, so 14 seconds is the big number on the shot clock for Utah State. Ashworth lost it on the way in. However, it's off of Mensa, and Utah State keeps it. Jamel doing an excellent job right now. He's right in Ashworth's uniform, tight. It was almost a walk, Carter, right? He spun a little bit. Ashworth gets it in, in the corner. Funk three, good in the corner. Get it started for Taylor Funk. The grad transfer from St. Joe's, just one of the hot hands for Utah State. Funk is streaky, big time shot. He has two or three games where he's cold, but big time first shot for Taylor Funk. Transfer from St. Joe's. Aggies top 10 in all the important three-point shooting metrics as far as Division I around the country. Keyshaw Johnson draws a foul. Shot clock's running down. Funk. Keyshaw Johnson right in his face, no matter. Good defense, better offense. Funk, terrific player. Last time they played, he had 22 points. He really did a great job against the Aztecs in the first game. Dorius gets the foul, his first. Johnson, who's really been coming on of late for San Diego State, beginning with that January 25th matchup in San Diego against the Aggies. Yeah, I'm San Diego, I'm gonna press him. Come right after him, try to wear him down with your athleticism. <laughs> Shulga brings it up for the Aggies.
Ashworth, nice cut. Big stir to the hoop. Off a good look from Ashworth. Really moving well without the ball. Aggies have 17 assists a game, which is fabulous. Minson needs help up top. Bradley, step back, Bradley three. Big sign for San Diego State, and Bradley can get off the schneid just one for six shooting in their last game versus Boise State. Exactly, Carter. He's a key guy, averaged 17 a game last year. Bearstow back to Ashworth. Off a good look from Bearstow. Great move throughout the ball for the Aggies. Terrific offense. San Jose State wants to take their time, try to put up the sleep card. They don't want a game in the 80s. They got the game in the 60s. Butler off the bounce. Rejected at the rim. Dorius gets the block. Utah State on the run. Ashworth throws it away. Right into the hands of Bradley. Sending the Aztecs on the run. Kick to the corner. Butler triple. <laughs> Long rebound into the hands of Funk. That's what San Diego State's got to do, Cardi. Get deflections, get steals, turnovers, but convert them into points. Defense got to help their offense. Funk, deep three. Long rebound taken by the Aztecs. Into the front court, Trammell. That is a blocking foul. Count the bucket. Bearstone tried to draw the charge. Instead, a chance at a three-point play. Push it ahead. Yeah, good call. He's moving, shuffling the feet a little bit. See if he's in the restricted area. No, he was outside it. Could have gone either way, but I think it was a good call. Moved his feet, shuffled just a little bit before Trammell went into his shot. Oh, left the three-point chance short, but Johnson there for the rebound on the offensive glass. Keyshawn Johnson. Another clock issue? I believe so. Yep. <laughs> you run the road, Cardi. You got to make your free throws. You got to rebound well. Take care of the basketball. So, a couple of missed free throws early for the Aztecs. Not a good sign. Ryan Dutch has done an unbelievable job. He followed a legend, Steve Fisher. And, uh, he's doing very, very well in his own right. Tremel. Rises for two. Utah State controlling the boards early. Bearstow gets it back from Ashworth. And now Bearstow right to the rim. Missed it. Mensa has the board. Long rebound to Butler. Lamont yeah. Butler throws it away. Bearstow. And now the Aggies will bring it back. Funk behind the back. Ashworth attacks. Tap from behind. This tempo is now favors Utah State because they got more weapons, more offense. Funk deep three. Taylor Funk. Carries a deep three over the six foot ten Mensa. Gotta slow the tempo down. I go inside to Mensa. Mensa had 17 points last game, as you mentioned, Carter. Go to the big fella. Let the big dog eat. Get him the ball. Two main threes for the Aggies, both from Taylor Funk. Johnson can't answer. Mensa keeps it alive, however. Butler on the offensive glass. Last time that San Diego State played in this building, they did not have an offensive rebound in the game. Already two offensive rebounds in the early going for San Diego State. Ashworth picks it up, hounded by Tremel. Dorius off the bounce. Everybody's locked in their guys. Nobody's looking to help. Shooting is so good. It's a foul. Shoga bumped. Called on Lamont Butler. That's his first. Taylor Funk, deep three. A pair of early threes for Funk. And it's bombs away early for Utah State. guitar on the brass why not we told you utah state was going to come out firing in two main threes early on from the aggies a 10-8 lead so as you take a look at the tail of the tape the san diego state defense versus the utah state offense exactly two ways to win 
As they do with defense, Utah State with offense. Uh, first in the country in three-point percentage for Utah State. And uh, third in percentage in the Mountain West. Second uh, in points allowed. And uh, so both these teams win big. They win different ways. There's a lot of ways to slice a lemon, Carter. And uh, both these guys do a great job with it. And, uh, you know, Utah State, Ryan Odom, again, terrific job. His second season. And Ashworth, how about each year he got better and better and uh, averaging 17 points percent from three-point land so uh, it's a great contest both these teams I think are NCAA tournament teams Ashworth has had to take over a much bigger role at the point because of Ryland Jones continuing injury issues for the senior Utah transfer Jones unavailable again tonight so Ashworth has had to become a scoring guard big time for Utah State this switch Ashworth likes when he gets switches a lot of times these guys get a card they run with it they don't call that Three to shoot. Beer still in tight over Seiko. Adam Seiko went to the game. He had the monster game against Utah State in the first meeting. 25 points on seven made threes. Butler turns it over. Aggies on the run. Shulga takes a big bump and draws a foul. Foul is on the Guaca rope. His first. Yep. Great defense. Push it ahead. Defense get their offense going. That's what the Aztecs want to do. Excellent defense by Utah State. Shulga, the junior from Ukraine, who has played a much bigger role his junior season. <laughs> Including four assists per game. One of the strengths of this Utah State team, they average five and double figure scoring, including Shulga. And they have been great at sharing the basketball. 17 assists a game, Carter. Tremendous. Lone rebound out of bounds. Who touched it? Yeah, it was touched by Lee. Ladee for San Diego State, so Utah State keeps it. Got a box out. You're the Aztecs. Little things, Carter, big. Team shoots 47% from the field. Can't give the Aggies more opportunities. Right now, I like the defense of the Aztecs, Carter. They seem dialed in. Their question is, can they do it for two halves? They've had a trouble with that. One half really good, second half, they slip. Ashwood turns the corner. Z Hamoda. Kick to the corner. Bearstow missed the three into the hands of Ladee. Let's, let's look inside now, Beauty Aztecs. Not a great three point shooting team. Look inside. Let's get a wide open three. Seiko takes it. Boarded by Akin. Dan Akin, the terrific player off the bench for Utah State. He's got four double-doubles off the bench, which is tremendous. Ashworth left it short. One of his six double-doubles at San Diego State this year at 15 and 10. Crowd doesn't like it, but it will be San Diego State ball. He's a great shooter. Now, he's not going to shoot an air ball. Looks like it was a deflected problem. No monitor review this far out. for a carry give it back to Utah State that's not called very often Carter right yeah. guy palm and carry it run with it play on Seiko picks up full court on Shulga they're still on the wing Armada. They're still in the paint. Poked away. From the baseline, it won't go. Late in the shot clock. However, tap out. Ashworth. Step in three. Steve Ashworth. Coming off a 
Saturday night when he hit eight threes at Colorado State. A step in three to make it to Utah State by five. That's easy money for Stephen Ashworth. Tremendous shooter. And the best in the country. 47% from downtown. Nearly got a steal, but then that leaves Trammell wide open, so stepping in. And again, Trammell hitting threes would be big for San Diego State. Exactly. Transfer from Seattle. He was a tremendous three-point shooter playing for Seattle. He should have struggled a little bit. He's only 31% from three-point for San Diego State. Z Hamada. Boarded by Ladee. Parrish rattles home the three. San Diego State back on top. Seems like if you go in the lane, you're going to get a disease card. I mean, everybody's launching. Fouls on the floor on Ladee. You get knocked down shots, great things happen. Last time they played, the Aztecs get 12. Utah State only had three. Don't get in the battle with them. Three points. Stick with us and Logan on CBS Sports Network. College basketball on CBS Sports Network is sponsored by Orgain. Good, clean nutrition. By Flonase Allergy Relief. Spraying Flonase daily stops your body from overreacting to allergens all season long. And by AT&T 5G. Fast, reliable, secure. Past champs from the Mountain West Conference Men's Basketball Championship. This year's tournament begins one month from today, Wednesday, March 8th. These two teams certainly contenders. Pete, we take a look at our keys to the game. San Jose State attacked the glass. Right now, they're up one on the glass. Transition E, got to get back. All right, knock down threes right now. Utah State has three threes. Take care of the rock. They're doing a pretty good job with that. Only one turnover for Utah State. So both teams are doing a pretty good job and keys to winning. But I like the tempo right now of San Diego State. I think they're playing lockdown D, making them earn their shots, and the tempo isn't too fast. The quicker the pace, the better it is for Utah State. These are a better shooting team. They got more weapons offensively. Between the two teams, 10 made field goals. Nine of those have been assisted. Yeah, that's it. When I coach, some of my players thought assist was a lump on your back that the doctor cut out. So uh, you, you got to share the basketball, and both these teams do a great job in this area. Give Brian Dutcher and Ryan Odom's team's credit for knowing a little bit more about what an assist is, Pete. <laughs> well, once again, I've had a couple of bad decades, Carter, so I think, but no, you got to share the ball. And uh, once again, both do a good job, but uh, Utah State 17 assists a game is fabulous. We're looking at another clock issue, perhaps. Yeah. Well, here Nate Harris is going to come explain. Okay. What's the explanation? Yeah. Common foul on the defense, all right, and a flagrant foul on the offense. So uh, after the foul, all right, so they're going to shoot both these, all right, and uh, flagrant, flagrant one, so it's not going to be dismissed. But flagrant one. Here we go. Yeah, all right. That's, that's a common foul, and then Shuga with the shot to the face. That's a flagrant one. So Ladee gets the common foul. Yep. Then Shuga gets, Shuga the, gets the flagrant one. Yep. Two shots and a flagrant one. I like it though. Take control of the game early. It's an emotional game, a physical game. Two shots in the ball for San Diego State. Yep. And she'll go on the bench. <laughs> Terrific player. Average double figures at 11 a game. <laughs> go inside. That's it. Attack the basket. But Welker Rope drops it off. Ladee. A rope fighting for the 
offensive rebound. It is out of bounds off of Utah State. Out of bounds off of Funk, so San Diego State keeps it. As a rope kept it alive on the offensive glass. <laughs> I like going inside. I think that's important. Can't just live and die with the threes. <laughs> Parrish in the paint, backs away. Now a rope. A rope, turn around, left it short. Gets his own rebound and on the offensive glass. There's a guac a rope. He's one of the leaders of San Diego State. Been around a long time. A selfish play, comes off the bench. Whatever it takes to win, he tries to do. It's a 10-0 San Diego State run, and they've done it on the offensive glass. Kick to the corner. Amato misses the three. Bailey's got to get going for the Aztecs now. Parrish three. Funk has the rebound. I'd set some screens for Ashworth. He's there. Lightning rod. Ooh. Trammell reached in, got the ball, but got a foul as well. Aguaca rope. Packs the basket, no good, follows his own shot, no screen out, he makes the pay. A walk a rope. Six foot six, 220 pounds from Omaha, Nebraska. Hustler. One of the leaders of the team. Comes off the bench, but it was a walk a rope who called the players only meeting prior to the Boise State game. Coming off the loss to Nevada. Yep. Whatever he said, it worked, the team, right? They played great. Funk off the curl. Yep. Boise State, as you know, Carter was missing Shave, who's a tremendous point guard, but great win for the Aztecs last time out. Parrish lost it. Manages to get it back. Matt Bradley off the bounce. Akin defending him. Bradley, runner, off the window. Got it past Akin. Great job by Matt Bradley Carter. The switch. They tried a big guy on him. All right, took him to the basket. Yeah. Here we see the switch. T take them, attacking the basket. Can't guard him. He's too quick. A kid can't guard him. 6 9 going against 6 2. Right now, a 12-0 run for San Diego State. I think it's a defense card. They're right in their grill. Every shot is a contested shot. Sure, Coach Dutcher reminded him, hey, we've lost three times in a row. We got embarrassed here last season. And the clock issue. <laughs> Thank you. Four offensive rebounds for San Diego State already in this one. After zero offensive rebounds a year ago. The largest San Diego State run of the year was versus Utah State that January 25th meeting, an 18-0 run. You know, that was when San Diego State outscored Utah State, 85 on the board for the Aztecs, so. Yeah, this, you can see the clock's not starting. So John Higgins coming over to express his frustration as well. Just, yep, the clocks aren't starting on time. Yep, yep, shot clock issues. <laughs> and game clock. Yep. Well, <clears throat> Those are two fundamental issues. No question. You got to have that squared away. <clears throat> I'd like to see now Utah State drive the ball more cars. Swing it side to side, put your head down, drive the basket. 
But Mensa goes up to block the shot. You dip, dip it inside to the big guy inside, Aiken. Got to get Ashworth going also. Ashworth here with a good screen. Ashworth all the way to the rim. On the good screen on top, Ashworth gets to the rim. Yep. He's at lightning rod. Gets him going. Leading score for Utah State, 17 a game. Get the ball to Mensa. Got 17 a game. Bradley hits the three with a hand in his face. Bearstow's hand in his face. Bradley hits his second three. We talked to him today a little bit, the shoot around Carter. His high school coach from Wasatch Academy is here, Curtis Condi. I think he helped him relax a little bit. He was pressing too much at times during the season. It's a 15-2 Aztec run. Plum picks up his dribble, knocked away by Butler in the corner. <clears throat> Aggies keep it. Utah State averages 80 points a game. They get 15 right now. Long way to go, but credit right now, early on, San Diego State's defense. Five to shoot. Ashworth floater. Boarded by Bradley. Bradley pushes the Aztecs. Give the ball to Benson. Let him touch the ball, the big guy. Tremel with a lob to the rim. Ashworth comes away with it. Then Mensa commits a foul, just running over Ashworth, incidentally, in the backcourt. First personal foul on Mensa. You hate that, Carter, when one of your key guys, right? Your reigning defensive player of the year last season, Nathan Mensa from San Diego State, gets a careless foul. Missed the. Thought he got fouled. He's complaining. Bradley off the shot fake. On to Butler. Butler step back. Long Ooh. two. Lamont Butler. He almost lost the ball. The ball rolled up his heel. Things are going right. They're going right for the Aztecs. Cuts it back to a single-digit lead. <clears throat> Johnson turnaround. You said it before, Card. He's getting better offensively. Terrific athlete. His offensive game has improved. Credit the coaching staff at San Diego State. Funk trying to get inside. Two early threes for Funk. Funk gets past Seiko. Whoa. Rejected by Mensa. Great help D by Mensa. A 19-4 run by San Diego State. Everybody's getting in the act. Lamont Butler with a long two. San Diego State by 10. College basketball on CBS Sports Network presented by Oregon. Aztecs leading by 10. Going to that last timeout, it got intense. Heated between San Diego State and Utah State and it began near the bench. So keep an eye on Funk and Trammell. And words exchange there. Funk turns around, Trammell and Funk exchange words. And then escalates even from there with Utah State head coach Ryan Odom and John Higgins having a heated exchange. So we'll see how this all plays out. <clears throat> uh, 
But it began with that, I mean, just the, t the huddles getting tangled. Yeah, <clears throat> it looked like a slight brush. I don't know if they said something to each other, but Funk went right at him. He got a T. We'll see if uh, they give a double T to Trammell also. Lucky he didn't get a T. <clears throat> Not yet. Yep. I mean Higgins going nose to nose. So we believe the only T that's been assessed so far is on Taylor Funk. But a long look to see if there's anything else that transpired between those two. And very easily could come away with something else. So again, it starts there with Funk and Trammell. There's a T on Funk. And Trammell gave him a little push too, Carter. Trammell gave him a little push. It was a big one. And then John Higgins and Ryan Odom. As you said, go nose to nose. No indication of a T there. <coughs> Big game for both teams, so emotions sometimes get out of control. <coughs> this is all coming off the Mensa block. <laughs> With a great camera crew. Well, Grant, our director, Ryan Odom. <coughs> Got to be careful. Wow. Well. And a long look to see if there's anything else <coughs> other than the T on Funk. Yeah, looked like he got a little push from Tramel Carter. Funk as he's walking by. That's why he turned and went right at him. So I'd give a double T, but I don't know how the officials will interpret this. Right now, the story, in my mind, is the San Diego State defense. Right? They're holding up 17 points. Right now, Utah State's only shooting 33% from the field. Three to eight from downtown. Mm -hmm. Both coaches emphasized rebounding would be critical in this one. Right now it's plus four San Diego State, including four offensive rebounds. And worth repeating again, a year after San Diego State didn't have a single offensive rebound in this game here in Logan, four offensive rebounds so far. <laughs> The thing is now, can San Diego State put together two halves? Long way to go in this half, but they haven't been able to shrink together two quality halves in a game. When you shoot threes, the game's never over. That's at the end of the dust up with yep. Ryan Odom and John Higgins yep. going at it. Yep. Ashby is trying to calm everybody down. <clears throat> As soon as we get an explanation, we'll pass it along to you. <laughs> Either way, it's a lengthy delay. And now, <coughs> now <coughs> I think this hurts San Diego State more because they were playing well up 10. Ryan Odom is still having to be restrained by his assistant coaches in the huddle. Got to calm down now. He's a great young coach, but just calm down. Coach you guys. <laughs> it's not the... That might have been his son. Dad, calm down. And yeah, this is turning into a very lengthy delay. Yep. <clears throat> to try and sort this one out. 
he, he might have heard about just a technical. I don't know what the results were. He's <clears throat> Still waiting the official word. <laughs> Ryan Odom didn't like it, so he got up and started going at the officials again. <clears throat> I would just call a double technical car to move on. It's a like little brush, they bumped each other, move on. Again, the only indication that we have out of any of this thus far is a technical foul on Taylor Funk. Everything else would be speculation until we get the official word. <laughs> yeah. Once again, <clears throat> who knows which team it will help if either one, but I think right now, I'm from San Diego State, I'm, I'm not happy. We're up 10, right? I don't like this. <clears throat> John Higgins is going to come explain it to Pete. And then shortly after, we will explain it to you. What did John Higgins have to say? Well, it was like war and peace, Carter. It was a double technical between Funk and Trammell, all right, as you said. They wipe each other off. A technical on Coach Odom for Utah State. That's two shots. And three players from Utah State left the bench, went over the court. So they had, you know, no foul shots on that, but they're, they have to leave the court. They're thrown out of the game. The three guys that came off the bench were Utah State. The reason it was such a delay, they had to see who came off the bench, which players from Utah State came off the bench during that melee. So we have three players ejected for Utah State. Exactly. I'm not sure who they were. He didn't say. It's only shots can be two, what John Higgins said, two free throws because of the technical on Ryan Odom from Utah State. The other technicals wiped each other out, the double technical on Funk and Trammell. So mark it down at the 649 mark of the first half with Utah State trailing 27-17. Now there is some confusion as to whether it's two players and one assistant coach or three players off the Utah State yeah. bench. John Higgins said three plays, but it might be different. It might be, like you said, two and one. But that's why it was such a lengthy delay looking at all right, the highlights of what happened. Two free throws now for San Diego State. Two free throws coming on the technical foul on Taylor Funk. I think it was on Ryan Odom, Carter. I think those other two wiped each other out. I might be mistaken. But. So... Travell and Bradley are exiting the court for San Diego State. Travell's gone. Travell is gone. Travell is gone for San Diego State. Yep. That's a big loss. And who's gone for Utah State? Well, Funk 
is still in there. Trammell was doing a great job defensively on uh, Stephen Ashford. I'll be honest, I'm still trying to sort this one out. I so agree. Trammell's ejected from the game for yeah. leaving the San Diego State bench. Yep. He didn't explain why. I thought we heard from Higgins that it was a Utah State player who was yeah. being ejected from the game. Yeah. That's what he said. He said it was a three Utah State guys for leaving the bench. That's what he said. So some confusion on their end also. So Tremel is gone. San Diego State starting point guard is gone from the game. Yep. <laughs> See anyone gone for the Aggies? Nope. Yeah. We'll ask them further. We'll get a, a fuller explanation. John Higgins did not tell me that, Carter. Well, here we have Ashworth at the line for a one and one. At this point, I would say Ryan Odom fortunate to remain in the game. It was an aggressive exactly. move off the bench from Ryan Odom. No question about it. Uh, no point guard for the Aztecs. Big problem. <laughs> We're going to call it real tight now, Carter, I think. Now on Ashworth, he switched. Technical foul. Wow. Yep, technical foul on Ashworth as well. Wow. So that's how tight things are going to get right now. Yep. You got to control the game. Shoot the technical fouls. No, no. Well, it's going to go back to haunt the Aztecs, Carter. They're not making it free. No. He fouled. He said Fouled something. It, yeah, then said something. That was yeah, the key. That's right. Higgins got him, but he, but he said something after the call. <clears throat> so Seiko's going to have to play a much bigger role for San Diego State. Johnson <laughs> steps into the three. Yep. Foul called against the Aztecs. Bradley calls with a foul, yep. fighting for the rebound. Wow. One and one. <laughs> long, long game, Gordon. Shoga hits the front end of the one and one. Still trying to sort out how Tremel gets kicked out of the game, and yeah. nobody else does. Didn't explain that to us, Carter. Shorter misses the second, but Akin there for their offensive rebound. And then a foul on the floor. Oh, God. Adam Seiko gets called for the foul on the floor. Another one and one coming. San Diego State is not boxing out on free throws. Right now, they're doing little things that's going to hurt them, Carter. Not making free throws, not boxing out. Little things are big things. Now you got to make them pay if you're Utah State.
Shoga gets the first. These Aggies back in action Saturday night at 10 Eastern as they journey to face the San Jose State Spartans right here on CBS Sports Network. A much improved San Jose State Spartan team. Yeah. The Mavs doing a great job. It's San Jose State. 1 in 17 in conference play last year. Shoga gets them both. Look up the crowd. I go inside to Metzl. Get the big guy the ball. Metzl on the perimeter. He's got to go inside. Bradley nearly has it taken away. Bradley gets it back. Shot clock again, I think. What do we have now? <laughs> Another shot clock issue. We have another shot clock issue. clock just stops at 13 as does the game clock fundamental issues with the game clocks and then the big dust up that related resulted in the Tremel ejection double technical fouls wow wow West Garden I think they can happen <clears throat> Shot clock's going to go to eight seconds. <clears throat> All right, eight to shoot. San Diego State gets it in. Mensa with a dribble handoff for Bradley. Three seconds to shoot. Bradley poked away by Ashworth. Bradley step back. Shot clock violation. Ashworth wants to get the spectrum crowd behind him. Turnover number five by San Diego State. Right. Tough to play about your quarterback. Big loss for the Aztecs. Shoga hits the three. We have a foul before the shot. Foul before the shot is what it looks like. Yep. Back to the monitor. Looks like a foul on Parrish before the shot, meaning a one and one. <clears throat> Two shots now for Dorius. Dorius, who's been playing his best basketball as his senior year has progressed. Done a great job. Good defensively. Sets a lot of screens. One for two from the free throw line, however. I'm going to high ball screen for Lamont Smith. I think he can get it to the paint. I think go by Ashworth. Lamont Butler off the bounce. Butler gets it back. Dorius has the block from behind. 
11 to shoot. <clears throat> Attack the basket. Some contact there. That's what, that's what Lamont Butler's got to do. Attack the basket. A row back into the game for San Diego State. Ladee. Floater late in the shot clock goes for Jade Ladee. Big basket for the Aztecs. Can run their offense without their point guard. He was, he was doing a good job, too, on Ashford. That is offensive foul <clears throat> on Akin. Utah State's gone over three minutes without a field goal. A rope playing good position, D. Akin backs in, good call. Butler turns the corner. Finds Bradley. Off the bounce. Bradley step back from the nail. Bradley. It looks like the Bradley from last year caught it with confidence, aggressiveness. They need him. He's their leader. Transfer from University of California. Last year, 17 points per game. This year, 13 points per game. Coming off an off-shooting night against Boise State. Shoga left alone. Fouls on the floor, fighting for the rebound. It's on San Diego State. Need a hoop. Get it to Matt. Matt can do it. Pull up. Bang. Transfer from Cal. Roland and Logan. Summary brought to you by AT&T 5G and much as the January 25th game in San Diego It is San Diego State out shooting Utah State from three-point in the early going right now Pete And that yep. is how San Diego State won the matchup at Viejas Yeah, and, and right right now, yeah, San Diego State holding them 7 for 22 Great defense by San Diego State. That's a difference. They, they shoot 48% for the field Utah State So they're holding them down really good to 31% Key moment in this game. The game was 27-17 when this dust-up occurred. And watch the Funk Tremel discussion. So this begins with a T on Funk. And then each coach do, during this interaction is going to get a technical foul. Ryan Odom gets a technical foul. Ryan Dutcher gets a technical foul. So those, those T's offset. But Tremel, because he came off, is ejected. Ladee for San Diego State is ejected. Cade Alger for Utah State is ejected. That is a net win for Utah State. Yep. <laughs> and then shortly thereafter, Ashworth was assessed a technical foul. But again, the game was a 10-point game in favor of San Diego State. And the most consequential ejection being Darian Trammell. Big four minutes now to end the first half. Who's going to get momentum going into second half? Mm. <clears throat> Got to clean up one thing. Ladee was not ejected. He's on the court right now for San Diego State. Wow. <laughs> you whacked him pretty good then. I like to see the Aztecs go inside. They're not a great perimeter shooting team usually. Rattles home for Parrish. Yep, Parrish. Big help off the bench. Micah Parrish from Detroit, Michigan. Transfer from Oakland. Bearstone air ball. However, offensive rebound and a stick back. Dorius can't get it to go. No field goals in almost five minutes for Utah State. <clears throat> Parrish three. Hits wow. it. Trailing Johnson.
Jackson finishes off the steal from Butler. The defense is getting their offense going. So they got to do. Down by 15, Utah State. Seven straight now for the Aztecs. Johnson has the rebound. Yeah, he's got to play good D now, get the rebound and push it. Aztec, take your time. I go inside and drive the ball. It's a wide open for a three. Back cut, a rope, kick to the corner, Johnson. Offensive rebound, Ladee. Finds Johnson inside, rejected by Doris. Got a score now, Aggies. Down the baseline, and there's Shulga. Timeout, we're back in 30 seconds with Utah State desperately trying to hang with the Aztecs. Coming up on at and at the half, A.J. Ross, Wally Zerbiak, Chris Walker, and Gary Parrish are standing by in our New York studio. Get you up to speed on all the night's college basketball action. That's all coming up on at and at the half. Carter Blackburn, Pete Gillen back from the Spectrum in Logan, where a contentious matchup between San Diego State and Utah State is playing out in the Aztecs' favor, up by 13. <clears throat> and they've done it without the services of Darion Trammell starting point guard who was ejected from the game with a 649 mark <clears throat> dribble handoff butler bounce it into a rope johnson ooh, took a pop too ladee hits the jumper Largest lead of the game for San Diego State. Foul away from the ball on a rope. Johnson had it, kicks it. Ladee from about 18 feet. Plenty of room. Bottom. What a great job coming off the bench. Jaden Ladee, six foot nine, senior from Houston, Texas. With Ohio State to TCU. Now he's playing for the Aztecs. Very talented player. The bench, tremendous. The last two games, as you know, San Diego State's outscoring the other team's bench 60 to 17. So the bench has been very important early here in the game and near the end of the first half. San Diego State in control. It's Butler taking over at the point. Butler in the corner. Parrish. Butler misses the long three. Out of bounds off of Shulga. The Aztecs are going to keep it with 25 seconds on the game clock, 20 to shoot. comes to get it. He can go by Ashworth. He's too quick for him. He drives it. Hacken switches off. Jumper won't go. Fight for the rebound. Won oh. by the Aztecs. A stick back goes from Parrish on the offensive glass. San Diego State making a statement on the boards and a statement in the game. 44-28 at the half. San Diego State, a dominant first half. That is the end of the first half with the score of 44-28 San Diego State. After the break, we'll send you to A.J. Ross in the game in New York with at and at the half. You're watching College Basketball on CBS Sports Network, presented by Orgain. Time now for tonight's first half stats brought to you by Orgain, an all-around solid first half for San Diego State, a 44-28 edge. 
Three for 10 from three for Utah State. So San Diego State defensively does the job they needed to do. Carter Blackburn with Pete Gillen holding the nation's leading three-point shooting team to three for 10. Big reason why the Aztecs are out. Exactly. A great job defensively by San Diego State. The lockdown D, as you know, Utah State averages 42% from downtown to lead the country. So right now, the defense of San Diego State is the reason they're ahead, but they don't put the two halves together a lot of times, Carter. So can they do it? Long way to go. This game is not over. Well, Bradley with a perfect shooting half. Matt Bradley goes four for four shooting in the first half. And after a slow shooting run for Matt Bradley, a game high 12 points. Matt Bradley was the preseason player of the year in the Mountain West in some circles. So people had Graham E.K. from Wyoming, but Bradley's a fabulous player. He looks like a potential player of the year in the Mountain West in the first half. But 40 minutes is a long game. My old boss said Notre Dame. Digger Phelps said it's a 40 minute game. You got to play for 40 minutes. And right now, San Diego State has not been able to put together two quality halves. Well, the big moment in this game at the 649 mark of the first half with San Diego State leading by 10. Three ejections total becoming of a dust up at the bench. Both coaches got technical fouls. Connor Gillis and Connor Odom, walk on players for Utah State, were ejected. Darion Trebell, starting point guard for San Diego State, was ejected from the game. And the Aztecs have weathered that loss of Trebell. But the question for Brian Dutcher's team is 40 minutes. That's. They have stretched together excellent at first halves. His biggest concern was could they maintain especially the defensive intensity in the second half. Exactly, Carter. He told us today in a shoot-around. But I love the bench for San Jose. 18-2. The last three games, they've been really dominant uh, on the bench. 78 points to only 19 for their three opponents for the Aztecs bench. So their bench right now has really been a, a big part of their success. The first place Aztecs ranked number 25 in the country. Utah State seeking its first quad one win of the season. 0-3 against quad one opponents so far this year. So this one bodes big for March. First four or five minutes of any game in the second half is key. Bear still behind the screen from Dorius. Love to Dorius and I think Seiko can drive by Ashworth. Butler. Mensa couldn't bail him out. Ashworth brings it back. Funk, who had the hot hand early for Utah State, takes it inside. Ashworth off the bounce. Ashworth lost it. Scooped up by Bradley. Seiko. <laughs> Got to get Bearstow going, Carter. Good player. <laughs> Foul called on Keyshawn Johnson. Nice ball screen. They both go to the dribbler, throws it up, throw it down, big fella. Hell of a kick. Nice pass, great finish for the big guy. Here's Bear still in tight. With the left. Nice move. Gets past Bradley. Well, the double figures, Bear Stroh. Big part of their success, Carter. Well, he had two points in the first half. Seiko. Seiko, who had the hot hand in the January 25th meeting in San Diego, hit seven threes. If the Aggies score now, I'm calling a timeout. If I'm Brian Dutch, you got to stop the bleeding. Momentum's a big card in any game. Shulga rejected by Mintz inside. There's Darius to hand it off. On the offensive glass. Timeout, Brian, timeout. Cut it to 10. Gotta stop the bleeding. Wholesale substitutions coming for San Diego State. Bradley's gonna take over now. He's the key. 
Bradley tries to dump it off for Mensa in tight. And here come three new players for San Diego State. Parrish, Ladee, and a rope. Parrish is bringing the first half quarter with 10 points. Butler it gets it into traffic for Ladee. Tough finish inside for Jaden Ladee, the senior from Houston. Bearstow step back. Bearstow hits a three. Big for Utah State to get Bearstow rolling. What do you two and a half? Parrish can't answer. Fight for the rebound. Won by the Aztecs. Ladee inside. Lost it. Loose ball. Ladee. Fight for it. Won by Utah State. Fred comes away with the ball. <laughs> Bearstow attacks, stops in the paint. A 9-2 run by Utah State. Aguaco Rope wow. with the stick back. Tall stick back. Boards have been big key for the Aztecs. First half, they're up seven on the glass. Be key to any game. Whoever controls the board usually controls the game. Wow. Ashworth takes a bump. Wow. Foul called on Ladee. Bairstow from way downtown. Get him rolling. Aggies will love that here in Logan. CBS Sports celebrates black history, its limitless culture, and undeniable impact. Happy Black History Month. And we remember the basketball career of Tony Gwynn, a tremendous Aztec basketball player. Point guard from 77 to 81, holds the all-time assist records at San Diego State. All of them, single game, single season, and career. He was all whack his sophomore and junior season. Drafted not only by the Padres, but by the Clippers. Went on to a Baseball Hall of Fame career. Tony Gwynn died back in 2014 at age 54. He was really loved at San Diego State. We did a game card when they honored him. We gave shirts out, number 24, and a great, great baseball player, but also a fabulous college basketball player and a wonderful person. Carter Blackburn, Pete Gillen from Logan, Utah, where San Diego State has taken command against Utah State. The Aztecs tops in the Mountain West Conference. A win tonight would put Utah State in a tie with San Diego State. The January 25th meeting in San Diego, won by 10 by the Aztecs. Ashward gets it both. Utah State within striking distance, especially with one of the hottest shooting three-point teams anywhere in college basketball. <laughs> A rope inside. Ladee there to bail him out. Great job on the offensive glass right now. That's just a control of the boards, Carter. Butler pokes it away from Shulga behind. Aztecs keep it, rather, Aggies keep it. the deck. It's on Parrish. Team fouls are important now. Early in the second half now, three quick fouls on San Diego State. Utah State into the bonus, so it'll be a big, big help down the stretch. Hagen. Parrish had to back off. He picked up his third personal foul. Great pass by Ashwood. Uh 
You got to swing the ball quickly and look to drive it. Butler steps back for three, contested three, a rope, trying to corral the offensive rebound on the glass. On the deck, it's a tie-up, possession arrow is going to keep it with Utah State. Nice pass by Ashworth, Aiken with the finish. <clears throat> Shulga on the wing. Hacken comes to get it. Hacken inside again. That is an offensive oh. foul. Charge called on Hacken, and he is irate. Looks like a block to me, Carter. Ryan Odom, what's going on? Got to be set. Looked like he moved. Watch his feet. Got to be set before he leaves his feet. Tough call. Yep. Referee doing a good job. I think they missed that one. Sega looking inside a rope, and a foul is called on Funk getting tangled up with a rope. <laughs> Second on Taylor Funk. Again, San Diego State without starting point guard Darion Trammell ejected from the game with the 649 mark of the first half. Ladee off the baseline inbounds. <clears throat> Great job by the bench of the Aztecs. Utah State slowly chipping away. Utah 16 at the half, Carter. Now to down 11. Pomona. Ryan Odom's talking to John Higgins. Got a rebound now, Higgins. Got a rebound. Essex get a good shot. Take care of the ball. Keep going inside. Ladee over Akin. Draws a foul on Akin. Akin's very physical. He's always bumping and grabbing. He's a very physical player. Very good player, but very physical. Not much contact there. <laughs> D gets the first and two. Jane Ladee, the TCU transfer. That's a tough background to shoot your free throws into. It's not easy. The orange guy there moving. Great crowd, great student support. The men of tradition here at Utah State. He says, what crowd? Gets a bulk. <clears throat> Matt Bradley back in the game for the Aztecs. <clears throat> I like that they're pressing right now. Come after him. You might not steal it, but just make him work. Actually, it's got to get going for the Aggies now. I bring him off some screens, either ball screen or have him off a, a staggered double. Get him going. Makes it three to crowd. He'll be fired up. Ooh, Amoda lob left it too high for Darius. So Bradley brings it back. Bradley all the way to the rim, Matt Bradley. Playing great on the road. Has taken a loss three in a row here. Trying to break that shrink. 14 points on a perfect five of five from the floor. Shoga tries to dump it off for Darius inside. Lost it out of bounds. Foul is called. Matt Bradley taken to the hoop from Wasatch Academy here in Utah. Nice finish. A great camera work. Mark Grant, one of the best. Going to the hoop. Yep. Funk was afraid to step in, Carter, with fouls. 
Baylor's got to continue to step up. They want to hang on. Barrett still finds Shulga. Good look. Missed the three. A rope has the rebound. Funk hits the deck. Oh, yep. Offensive foul. Ashworth sets up and gets the charge. <laughs> Ryan Dutcher didn't like that one. Right. A rope is coming down. Yep, good call. He ran him over. <laughs> Got to pay attention. Walker Rope doing a great job tonight, but heads up by Ashworth. The team foul. Five team fouls for Ashton. It's big. Got a turning to go. Keep drawing fouls and try to get back in the game. Make some free throws without the clock moving. Foul on Seiko. Could have gone either way. Once he's going to the top of the screen, a little bit of contact, but we're trying to clean it up. And he complained, Seiko, and John Higgins gave him a team. Yep. Common foul and then a technical on Seiko as well. <laughs> right now there are 16 fouls on San Diego State, which is a big, big stat. Utah State can keep attacking the basket. Ashworth gets a both. Utah State ball. CBS Sports Network presented by Orgain. An offensive explosion by Utah State here in the second. Yep, it's brought the Aggies back. Here's Ashworth, leading scorer, the floater. Right now, the second half, Utah State shooting 73% from the field. And San Diego State's only shooting 36%. 0 for 4 from three-point land, so big-time momentum right now for the Aggies. Well, the big concern for San Diego State, can you put together 40 minutes of a defensive effort? 20 minutes, yes. The big halftime lead on Utah State, and yet in the second half, it has been a 21-12 Utah State advantage to get back in this basketball game. The scoring almost at will. Right now, the Aztecs are struggling a little bit. Big, big game for both teams, but especially Utah State. They need a quad one win. Take it away. 
Shulga has the steal. Aztecs on the run. Shulga tries to drop it off. Right back into the hands of the Aztecs. Parrish brings it back. <laughs> LeBon Butler sets him up. Aztecs without point guard Trebell. Ejected from the game in the first half. They try to go to Benson. Benson's got to want the ball. I think he can score inside. Hanging out in the perimeter too much. Three to shoot, two to shoot. Lob into Mensa, taken away by Dorius. Sending the Aggies on the run again. Bear still off the shot fake. Around Mensa, Bear still with a floater to pull Utah State within five. From 16 down, Utah State has cut it to five. And a chance to cut into it more, an 8-0 run. Ashworth. He thought he had that one. Roof would have come off the building. Stepping back on the baseline. Bradley. Wow. Heaves the contestant. Long two. Wow. Great defense. Better offense. Big hoop. But he has this. Bairstow's rolling. Tap the basket. Bairstow. Missed the three. Boarded by Parrish. Bradley off the curl. Parrish floater goes. Every time they need a hoop, somebody on the bench comes up for the Aztecs. Get a great timeout, Utah State. Sean Bairstow, two at the first half, stepping up big time in the second half of the Aggies. Going to the hope, young man. Good finish for the young man from Australia. Aggies right there. Excuse me, in the West Coast Conference tournament. Meanwhile, here for San Diego State, the bench points have been a major factor. Unbelievable. 30 to 6 is monumental. Micah Parrish, 12 points. Jaden Ledee, 14 points. So right now, all right, they're the ones keeping them ahead. Still got a long way to go, but the bench has been fabulous for San Diego State. The offense has been fabulous for Utah State the second half. Bear still picks up his dribble. Z Hamoda. Ashworth on the wing. Floater. Air ball. Kept alive for a moment. It's going to be Aztec basketball. Not a good shot. He tried to draw a foul. Little guy with a big heart. The time he tried to draw the foul. <laughs> Successful. into a rope. A rope backing in on Bearstow. Off the window, boarded by Mensa, lost it. Taken away by Funk. Mensa's got to be more aggressive, Carter. 17 points last game. Hamoda resets. Give it back to Funk. Tries a long three. Johnson with the rebound. Atkin wanted it on the low post. Utah State's going to have to do better than one for five for three point to come back in the game. Exactly. <clears throat> Floater won't go in tight for Parrish. Boarded by the Aggies.
Paul go on the wing again. Hacken, that's a foul called on Parrish getting tangled up with Akin. That's number four on Parrish. San Diego State still controls it by nine on the road at Logan. First place, San Diego State leading Utah State 60 to 51 with 6.59 to go. Coming up next, catch up with our Hoops crew in the studio as they highlight the latest hardwood clashes across the nation on Inside College Basketball right here on CBS Sports Network. In the studio tonight, A.J. Ross, Wally Zerbiak, Chris Walker, and Gary Parrish. San Diego State atop the Mountain West with a big win over Boise State to maintain the top spot. Utah State at eight and three. So, and Utah State win tonight would even things atop the Mountain West Conference standings. They would have split the regular season between Utah State and San Diego State. Exactly. But Pete, you circled the number four for 15 from three point for Utah State. We talked about it before. Utah State is the leading three point shooting team in the country, 42% from downtown. But San Jose State holds their opponents at 30% from three-point territory. So right now, credit San Jose State, great job defending the three, but we got a turn to go, almost seven minutes, and Utah State can get hot any minute and turn this game around and sneak out with a win. Utah State averages 10 main threes a game, only four so far and only one in the second half. Dan Ack into the line. Grad transfer from Cal Baptist, but played for Ryan Odom at UNBC. On the team to beat Virginia in the NCAA tournament. <clears throat> Once again, Utah State's in a bonus, so keep driving the basketball. Try to score with the clock stopped. Lane violation. Sure enough, lane violation will get back in another shot. Can't shoot yourself in the foot. You're on the road, little things are important. Wow. As a coach, you get agita when that happens. Back and can't make a pay. Uh, get lucky. That's, that's what lucky in that. <laughs> I think of what the rope can score inside against Bearstow. Get him the ball. Butler picks up his dribble. Mensa there to help him out. Seven to shoot, six to shoot. He switched. To drop the by him. Butler tries it over after the air ball. That's one of the possession speed where you really miss the ball. Exactly, Carter. Once again, uh, not breaking out of defense. They switched. Atkins did a great job defending Butler on the perimeter. Got an air ball. Big possession now for the Aggies. Down eight. Ten turnovers in the game for San Diego State, playing most of the way without their point guard, Darion Trammell. Ashworth off the bounce. Bearstow floater. Boarded by Ladee. Got to get a lot of movement here, quick movement, ball movement, player movement. Don't just stand around now if you're the Aztecs. Bradley comes to get it on the wing. Tough two. Oh. What a tough two. Oh, two guys in his face. He's playing like the player of the year in the Mountain West Conference tonight, Carter. Him and Graham E.K. were the two favorites in different circles. Picked those two as preseason player of the year. 18 in the game for Bradley. Shoulder missed it in time. A rope has the rebound. <laughs> Clock right now is San Diego State's best friend. They'll turn it over, take good shots. Bradley spins, kicks. Johnson passes on the three. Butler, contested two, boarded by Funk. Critical possessions now for Utah State.
Ashworth gets it back, and Ashworth. Cut it to seven. Just a second made three and a half for Utah State. Got to keep playing now. Aztecs, long way to go. I go inside to a rope. Get him the ball. Let's get a wide open shot. I think he can score on Basto. Fight for the rebound. That's going to be a shot for violation. Uh, and Akin is very slow getting up. Yep. There's a timeout on the floor. That'll take us to a timeout on the floor. San Diego State hanging on to a seven-point lead, but Utah State making one final push with 4.01 to go. Critical atop the Mountain West Conference. Tonight's game brought to you by Orgain. Let's take a look at the performance of the game fueled by Gatorade. Matt Bradley doing what he needed to do in the starting line of 18 points. A bounce back game for Bradley after he made only one shot against Boise State. Bradley, a seven for eight shooting performance, two for two made threes. And then Jamie Ledee off the bench has been terrific as well. Yep. Two great contributions. Matt Bradley, 18. Jason Ledee, 14. So, long way to go, Carter. And now Utah State got some momentum. Free throws can be big down the stretch. Utah State can be very aggressive. All right, they only have two fouls, three fouls corrections, and San Jose State's over the bonus with eight fouls. So. All the way in, Shulga, bumped away by Seiko. Aggie basketball. He's <laughs> touched by Bradley. Yep. Good referee, and Coach Higgins had a good, I think John Higgins had a good look. Lob. On the baseline inbounds, a quick two for Utah State to get it to five. Two possession game, Higgins to crowd. San Diego State's led by as many as 16. That is a foul called on Akin. That's a tough one, number four on Akin. <laughs> Get it into Ladee. And now Bradley off the bounce. Lost the handle. Bradley gets it back. Bradley on Shulga. Missed it at the rim. Shulga has the rebound. Aggies on the run. Bearstow looking for a trailing Ashworth. Set a ball straight for Ashworth. He feels it. He's made a big time three. And gives it right back. Ashworth three. Funk keeps it alive. There's Stowe. Here's, here's Ashworth again for three. Oh. A rope finally corrals for San Diego State. Two big misses from one of the nation's best three point shooters, but Funk gets it back. Big possession. Wow. I drive the ball now from the Aggies, unless you're wide open for three. 
Three to shoot. Funk gives it up. Bairstow's going to have to heave it. With the shot clock winding down, two Aztecs go for it. Ladie hits the deck. Butler and Ladie. We have a stoppage here as Ladie hit the deck. It was Butler and Ladie both going for the basketball. And Ladie took the brunt. <clears throat> Whoever wins, give me two key stats why they won. Whoever wins. <clears throat> it's going to be Aztec basketball. Tangled up with Bearstow. Foul called on Bearstow. Good call. Aggies play good D without fouling. Misses it. Aggies run. There's five. Oh, 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 it's a three-point game with a minute 45. I call a timeout now from Brian Dutcher. Let me know what you want. San Diego State led by as many as 16. A roll. Seiko feeding inside. A road misses in tight, boarded by Parrish. Big rebound from Parrish to pull it away and give San Diego State a second chance. 14 offensive rebounds in the game for San Diego State. Butler, Thorpe knocks it away. Here come the Aggies. Bearstow with the feet inside. will head to the free throw line. <laughs> Parrish is fouled out. <laughs> Rayleigh's back in now. Parrish fouling out. Akin has two, 70% free throw shooter. What a comeback by Utah State. Got 16 at the half. Same thing with San Diego State. They have trouble putting two top halves together. Up 16. Side, right wing, let him go. Tap the basket. 
Right now, right, Utah State has got a foul to give. He got five fouls. He could be very aggressive, right? Maybe try to get a steal. All right, so that's what I would do, get to Bradley. And if they switch, I don't want to switch. I'll try to go through the screens if I'm Utah State because you don't want a big guy on Bradley. He'd be able to go by him and take it. But I go with my best player. If he doesn't have it, all right, then try to go inside to a walk a rope. San Diego State just one of its last nine. Big thing, only five fouls now for Utah State. You can be very aggressive. Butler running point for San Diego State. With the ball to Bradley, your best player. Live and die with him. There's Bradley off the curl. Bradley bumped on the floor before the shot. Foul is on Shoga. The second. 16 foul. 16 foul, so one more in the bonus, but not there yet. Same thing again, run the clock down, we're about nine to 10 seconds to go, go to your best guy. Live and die with your best player. Get it into Bradley again, kick out Seiko. Seiko off the bounce. Cut off, Bradley takes it again. Nine to shoot, seven to shoot. Bradley. Guarded by Shoga. Bradley in tight off the window. Didn't get it to go. Fight for the rebound. It's won by Utah State. That's where it's going to bring it back. Utah State will have a chance to take the lead. Shoga's going to reset. Timeout, Utah State. Ryan Odom's going to take a timeout with 10.2 left. Yeah. Ryan Dutch is calling for a foul. There's a lot of contact in the end. A rebound that Utah State had to have, and that's exactly what the Aggies do. Yep. <laughs> right now, I'm going to my best plan. Try to go to Ashworth if he has it. If not, barefoot has been rolling in second half, Carter. He's playing really, really well. Right, he only had uh, two points in the first half, and uh, he's really doing a great job in the second half. Uh, Bear still, so I, I would go to him if we don't have one for Ashford. San Diego State has lost its last three trips here to Logan. They knew that it was going to be a tough one tonight. And even with a 16-point advantage, the game not over. And here it is with 10.2, and Utah State a chance to take the lead on the last possession. Once again, the foul, they're over the limit. They have 19 fouls, San Diego State. So you get two free throws, all right? Packing the basket, you gotta be smart. Referees let a lot go, last possession. San Diego State has missed its last seven shots down the stretch. Yep. Right at the defense by the Aggies. Once again, missing their point guard. Travel. Ejected in the first half as part of the scrum at the 649 mark. Darian Trammell, so the Aztecs have had to do it without him. It was a double-digit lead at that point. Utah State will have Bearstow inbounding with 10.2, shot clock turned off. I'm going to Ashworth, my leading scorer, or Bearstow on a roll. Shulga, Shulga's going to take it. Shulga missed it. Fight for the rebound, won by the Aztecs. Boarded by Johnson. Keyshawn Johnson gets the critical rebound. Foul quickly and with 1.8, Johnson to the free throw line. Not the stat we wanted, Carter, not the shot. Faye, step away, no. Good defense, great rebound by the Aztecs. Bairstow was rolling, and Ash Rush, a leading scorer. Not a good shot at the end. One and one coming for Keyshawn Johnson. Game is still not over. No, no foolish fouls by the Aztecs on a missed shot. Ackett fouls out. No gamble for a steal, Aztec. One and one. Yep.
Some people say, miss now on purpose, but you don't want a guy to throw a home run pass and get lucky. I try to make it. I put a guy in the ball. Now if it goes in, the game is not over. Johnson misses the second timeout with 1.5 for Utah State. <clears throat> uh, yeah, right now, once again, uh, I would put a guy in the ball, a big guy for Daniel State, Menzer, uh, 6'10", center, uh, Blara's pass. I switch on all screens. Don't go for a steal now. You're up two. Game's not over. Just keep in front of you. Make him make a, a hero shot over you with hands up. Don't try to block the shot. Don't foul. What I would try to do to uh, for Utah State, try to flash a guy to the top of key, catch it, turn, and try to throw the ball to either corner to one for the guys for a quick shot. All right, it's not much time, so it's good. catch it, boom, or you can shoot it right away. That's what many years ago uh, Duke did it. They threw it into Christian Laitlet, top of the key, turn around, hit a miracle three to beat Kentucky at Rick Pitino. So, big thing now, Jan, say don't foul, all right? And if you're Utah State's game's not over, you can catch and shoot. You wouldn't have time really for another pass. I would switch on all screens now if I'm San Diego State. Switch on all screens. Don't hold anybody because you're in a double bonus. Aztecs oh. don't guard the inbounder. I would guard the inbounder. Right. Right. Dutch is a lot smarter than me, but I would guard somebody on the ball. Timeout San Diego State now. Don't let him have a pure, easy pass. Jump up. Make sure there's nobody there on the sideline trying to, you know, run the baseline and then knock him over for a foul. But uh, I would put a guy in the, on the ball. That's what I would do. Many years ago, I was at Notre Dame. We, we played. Uh, I was just at a Villanova. We played at Notre Dame and uh, ended the game. We didn't put a guy in the ball. And they, they threw the ball half court, a couple of dribbles. Tracy Jackson hit a shot. It was about three seconds ago. It was a little more than now. But I would put a guy in the ball. Make it a difficult. Once again, there's a lot of ways to do things. There's no one right way, wrong way, but I, I would try to bother the passer. Jump up and down, scream, and I would switch on all screens. Don't get back picked now and again. Probably going to try to throw a touchdown pass or a pass to the top of the key and a quick turn around for a shot. But Brian Dutch is a very good coach, a lot smarter than me, but I would put somebody on the ball. It'll be Shulga bringing it in for Utah State. Yep. I don't, don't commit a foul. They're probably going to try to get the ball to Bearstow at the top of the key. Down screen, here comes Bearstow. Shulga, there's the deep pass, and it is out of bounds. San Diego State ball. We're going to double check to see if it touched anybody. Yeah, if it touched anybody. They're trying to go long to Bearstow. Yeah, the, also the clock ran, and if the ball wasn't tipped, let's see. Was it touched by Johnson? It looked like it was touched by the San Diego State player. And if so, how much time is going to be put back on the clock? Yep. 1.5 is what's showing now. We'll see if he touched it, right? It looked like he did. In which case, Utah State would be inbounding on this side of the court. Exactly. But with less time on the clock. I mean, you think it? You're right here. Didn't see his hand up all the way, couldn't tell. <laughs> The ball changed trajectory. That's basically what you're looking at yep. at this point. If you don't have the clear look of, yep. did the ball touch his hand or not? Did the ball change trajectory? Look like, looks like Johnson hits it. it. Looks like Johnson hit it. So the clock is still showing 1.5 when the ball hits Johnson. Yeah. Well, then they should not go off another second or two. <laughs> See where it goes out of bounds. Right. If it's under three now, Carter, they got to tap it in. They can't catch and shoot it. Right. So they're going to have to tap it and lob it to the rim, and, and hopefully one of the big guys for Utah State can tap it in.
Has to be a lob. Let's see what he's saying. So if Johnson touched it, I mean, that's just a question of how much yep. time is left on the clock when yep. the ball went out of bounds. But they can't catch and shoot now. they got to tap it for under three seconds. But will there be more than 0.3 seconds left on the clock? Yeah. Yeah, that's true. One point two showing as the ball hits the baseline, but it's where it goes out of bounds. How much time is going to be put on the clock? That's if they agree that Johnson touched the basketball. Otherwise, Johnson doesn't touch it. And it goes back to San Diego State, State. ball back here with okay. the chance to inbound the basketball and yep. end the game. Yep. We've had more looking at the clock, Carter, and uh, the clock again. It's until it goes out of bounds. Yeah. Or it's right. It's in the air. It didn't go out of bounds yet. So it could be 0.4 seconds left. Yep. In which case you can catch and shoot. You, you, yes, you can catch. You can catch and shoot then. Because the ball's not out of bounds until it hits the ground. Right. It's up in the air. Correct. <clears throat> So 0.4, maybe 0.3, if they agree that Johnson yep. touched the basketball and it went out of bounds yep. to Utah State. <clears throat> Nate Harris over to explain to Pete. Point two is what's showing on the clock. Point two yeah. seconds. Yeah. All right. Yeah. It said when it, you know, when it, it hit it down two seconds. They, they cannot, they, they have to tap it in. They can't catch and shoot. Can't catch and shoot. There's the lob. Tapped out of bounds. That's the ball game. Okay. That's the ball game. And San Diego State wins, and the Aztecs remain alone atop the Mountain West Conference. A 63-61 win. San Diego State over Utah State. A fight to the finish in Logan. Won by Brian Dutcher's San Diego State Aztecs. So the updated Mountain West Conference standings, it is San Diego State all alone at 10-2. and two. Utah State falls to 8-4 and four in Mountain West Conference play. And a missed opportunity for Utah State for a quad one win on its home floor. First win in Utah State since January 4th of 2020, snapping the three-game losing streak here in Logan for San Diego State. So for Pete Gill and our entire CBS crew, I'm Carter Blackburn. This has been a presentation of CBS Sports Network, the 24-hour home of CBS Sports. San Diego State wins a thriller in Logan. Coming up next, it's Inside College Basketball.